<clears throat> hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the center of mass and center of rigidity for our structure. So at first, the center of mass, this is our floor plan. It's 26, 26. I just did the eight plus the 10 plus the eight, gives us 26 by 26. The triangle is eight by eight over there, okay? So for the X bar, it's gonna be the sum of each area's component times by its X, its own centroid from the X axis times by the sum of all the areas, okay? Here's my reference axis. So we're gonna do the square first. So its area is 26 squared, it's 26 by 26, times by the distance of its own centroid. The centroid of the square will be right in the center. So it's 26 on two, so that's 13 meters from the reference X axis here. So 26 squared by 13. Minus, now we have to minus off the triangle because that doesn't actually exist in our structure. So we minus the area of the triangle is eight squared by 0.5, base times height on two, same thing there, times by the distance to the, cent the centroid, okay? So for a triangle, we know that from the edge over there to the center is a third L, okay? So what we need to do is we're gonna work out that distance, which is gonna be one third of eight, and we're gonna subtract that distance from the 26. And that'll give us that distance there. Okay, so it's 26 minus one third of eight will give us that distance. So this is 26 minus one third of eight. And then we're gonna divide that by the sum of the areas. So it's 26 squared for the square, and we also have to subtract off the area of the triangle. So eight squared by 0.5. Working that out, we'd get 12.49 meters for our X bar. The Y bar, similar formula and similar process, except now we're doing the YI. So the area is the exact same, 26 squared by 13. Um, now, sorry, the area is 26 squared. The 13 comes from 